What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, motivator, educator, Lucky Murray, back with another Game Caught News up to date. Congratulations goes to an office lineman from Maryland. Uh, I can't say his name, so I'm not going to try. I'm going to call him OB. He is now officially a committed member of the Gamecocks. So, we're going to read this 24-7 article real quick. We're going to keep going with this. Man, it said four-star recruit office tackle. I'm going to say OB. Not going to pronounce the name. I don't know how. Already had a strong feeling towards South Carolina and leaned towards committing here. However, the Maryland uh, DeMatha, I, I, I want to say somebody else went to DeMatha that goes here. I want to say um, Marshawn Lloyd, I believe. Stand out wanted one more look at the school and the program. He got it during his unofficial visit to campus last week. It provided the final touch to his recruitment and led to his commitment to the Gamecocks, his announcement. He announced his decision this Friday, right? It's been a few, it's been yesterday when he committed. So it said, man, it's everything OB said about why he committed. Family, coach Shane Beamer, the assistant coaches, just all around a great time and a great area to be. It's a great place. The six foot five, two hundred ninety six pound OB, who is the number twenty five offensive tackle in the, in the industry, according uh, to twenty four seven composite scores, took his time with his recruitment and he made his share of his visit. He took an official not only to South Carolina but to Rutgers, Ohio State, Maryland, and North Carolina. So, with the class of twenty twenty five, twenty twenty three, excuse me, I, I want to kind of just look at it. Real quick, but before I look at it, man, I, I want to kind of talk about what Shane Beaver's doing. If you look at this young man, he looks like uh, a very solid piece that's going to be a, a added to the program. The one thing that we talked about last year that was an issue was an offensive line. And I like the fact that they're addressing it in 2023 because when you could develop the guys now and build depth between 2023 and 2024, in 2025, you should really see these uh uh, cornerstone pieces that can really help us build a foundation when it comes to uh, South Carolina. Um, I, I do like the fact that we're getting a lot of recruiting uh, recruitments uh, now, but you got to understand this. This is a new landscape of recruiting because the early signing period, guys need to make their choices now, right? They need to make their choices now. If they wait until uh, February, because if you remember, February was the normal signing day class right there. But if you wait until February, unless you're a top 50 guy, you you is not going to necessarily get a seat at the table. So if you, especially in football, if you're trying to commit, you need to commit by December before the, before you you because if you don't if you don't commit to. Uh, <laughs> by December, you're playing a game of musical chairs, and you may not have a chair to sit on when the music stops. But this young man looks like a uh, uh, big, looks strong, and I like the fact with offensive linemen, especially that's a position, and defensive linemen, I think too as well. It's a position that you you have to get them on campus, beef them up a little bit. They could be big, but you got to get them some muscle. You got to give them a weight plan because pushing a uh, lineman, defensive lineman in the SEC, it's a lot different for pushing high school linemen. In you know high school, I don't care if you play in Texas, you know in the highest six A level, you know that's a big jump from high school football to college. But this young man Ob looks amazing. Congratulations, welcome home. But here's what I need you to do: let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And also, man, if you haven't done, man, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. You know what time it is. Join the Patreon if you if you love the content right there. But once again, it's the entertainer, motivator, educator, and please don't forget all three. Lucky Mary Brett, another Game Cut News update. And today we are speaking about. This young man right here. I'm trying not to get this done situated. <laughs> but let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. But like always, it's the next time, people.